Good morning, Hawks. Today is Tuesday, May 28th. Today, there is a mock trial meeting during lunch. If you are interested, drop on by. If you have no idea what a mock trial is, please go to G-O-O-G-L-E dot C-O-M to find out. Tonight is the sports sign-up night. It will be from 7 to 8.30 in the NPR. Hope to see you there. Thursday is the kickback barbecue. It is going to be after school from 5.30... 3.30 to 5.30. Come out and celebrate the end of the year with a free barbecue, games, and music. Friday, there's going to be a sports pep rally. Hang out with your friends and show, show your school spirit. Next week, please be mindful that Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are POLs. The first half of the day is dedicated to classes and a few POLs. And the afternoons are only scheduled for POLs. If you are not scheduled for the POLs in the afternoon, you may go home early. That is all for now. And now on to announcement. So if you didn't hear, next week we're having POLs. Yes, we're having POLs for realsies. So I mean this week during advisory, we're actually going to be preparing for those POLs. We're doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, we've had a couple requests to see our old POL videos. These are the ones that are already up on advisory land. But I think it's uh, well worth your time to take a look at them. So let's go ahead and roll the video. Hi everybody, this is Pew Wells in plain English. Now, if you are an LVCP student, you've done all sorts of things this year. You've built a catapult, you've typed up an essay, you've made history projects, and all sorts of other stuff. Now, you've also taken these things and put them up on your digital portfolio using your laptop. Okay? And we've now uploaded them, and they're all safely up in your digital portfolio. And we're absolutely ready right now for our presentations of learning, or a POL. So, let's talk about what a POL looks like. First of all, there's you, and you're going to be spending about 20 to 25 minutes making a presentation. And so there'll be a projector with your work behind you, and you'll be dressed up in your besties. And there'll be some teachers there, as well as some other students, and perhaps even some parents there to check out your presentation. But probably the big question is, where are you going to start? So let's talk about what you actually do to get ready for your POL. Now, you already have all of your projects done here. You have you know, your catapult and your PowerPoints and all the things that you've already done. We're just going to slot those things into different categories. So let's check out the categories right now and see what some of the projects might fit into them. So one is preparing for college. That could be that essay. Acting responsibly, communicating effectively, thinking critically, being creative, and staying current. You can see how one project fit into every single one of those categories. Now check this out. All of these projects are from different classes. So it could be English and math and science and history. Each thing is from a different place. Now you're allowed to have two from a different from the same category, but not more than two, please. And in order to get ready for a presentation, we have a little introduction. And we have a conclusion. And that makes eight different components for your presentation of learning. So let's see, let's give ourselves a little schedule on how we're going to get those things done. So this week during advisory, this is how we are going to get all this work done. And you can see here today is Monday. And so today you guys will actually be preparing your introduction as well as your being prepared for college thing. Now, I have suggested uh, projects here that you can connect them up to, but you can have any project, you can slot any project in any one of these areas. So just a reminder on that. Okay, and it's done all in advisory. So let's get back to you here. What are you actually gonna do? So you are going to get your computer out in a few moments here when you're done with this video, and you are gonna go to the advisory land website. It's gonna provide you all the questions. And then you are going to open up your digital portfolio, and because today is Monday, you're going to be writing your introduction and the being prepared for college section. And you're going to read the questions off the advisory land website and write in the paragraph that um, kind of will outline what you're going to say during your introduction and outline what you're going to say when you're being prepared for college and about that particular project that you're talking about, how that got you prepared for college. So let's see what you do from there. Okay. Now, what if you have a project that did really amazing? 
like, I don't know, launched, flew away, and you got first prize. Yay! Okay? Something else could have happened too. I want to point out that your project does not have to be particularly successful. There's learn by succeeding, and there's learn by failure. And both are, are fine because this is a presentation of learning, not a presentation of the amazing work you've done before, but actually a presentation of things that you have learned about. So let's go back to how this looks. So you have your presentation up over here. We have your teachers in the room and you're wearing your besties. Don't forget about that. Um, all these introductions and being prepared for college and the projects, that is your presentation and they're also your reflections. It's all the same thing. So that's what we're getting ready to do. But let's get back to here. Where do we start? We start by you in this room right now, pulling up your laptop and going to the Advisory Land website, guys. All right, guys, happy reflecting. Today in Advisory, all classes will be working on their POLs. Freshmen will also be updating their extracurricular log. Sophomores will also be looking back on their year as a 10th grader and writing a reflection on the Narvian's journal. Students can find the questions on Advisory Land. Thank you, Hawks, and stay classy.